Good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. Um, I'm excited to talk about how AI is helping dealers and the dealership today. Um, my name is Anu Roberts. I'm the Senior Director of Product Marketing for IT Solutions for CDK. And joining me today is Joe Bell. He's our VP of IT Solutions at CDK. And Amit Kumar um, from Google, who's a product manager. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you so much. You know, AI, um, just as I think of AI technology in our personal lives, it's really become pervasive. You know, we've got our voice assistants like the Google Home. You know, I had a, a ridiculously amazing experience at a, a, a local business um, in my hometown at a salon. Um, you know, I called in uh, in between appointments, in between meetings uh, to make a, a scheduled appointment. Didn't, no one answered, didn't want to leave a voicemail because who leaves voicemails anymore? And um, within about 10 seconds, I got a text saying, hey, we missed you, sorry. Would you like to do one of these? And they listed their top three services. Uh, and I was like, nope, I don't, but how amazing. They knew I called and they're calling me, texting me back. And so I was having this like conversation with essentially this, this AI experience. And if, you know, that was just a, I was blown away because it was just mm. a local experience, a local business, small, you know, own local business. So these experiences are becoming pervasive, you know, same thing like if, you know, if you guys have flown Delta, I mean, Delta has a really great conversational, you know, virtual assistant as well. Or, you know, even at the bank, you call, you know, your bank. So we as consumers are just experiencing this type of AI um, in our lives and our expectations um, as consumers are really really growing and we're, we're adopting this pretty easily. So Amit, I just wanted to start off with you today. What are you seeing um, from Google's perspective with trends in AI? So uh, first of all, thank you so much uh, for the opportunity. And uh, coming to your question, I think uh, we see that uh, assistant specifically are becoming more and more integral part of our life. So whether it is you know, booking an appointment, for example, or checking my account balance, or you know, looking for any other information, searching or controlling my uh, you know, smartphone. So it's really uh, they're becoming more and more prevalent into our uh, lives, and uh, we feel that you know, this is this will continue to happen. So so that's a that's uh, I think there are a lot of innovation in that uh, mm -hmm. area. Uh, the second thing we see around the uh, customer care. So we feel that uh, a lot of uh, customers continue to switch towards more and more uh, chatbots and voice bots. So a lot of the innovation that is happening within the voice industry, within the NLP area, we feel that uh, we see that lot more and more consumers are going to switch towards self-service and really uh, going towards the voice bot and the, and the uh, chatbots. Uh, the other area is the, the uh, contextual and the personalized interactions. So as uh, consumers are interacting with the brands, uh, they are looking for much more personalized and contextual uh, sort of experience and the connection with the brands. And uh, AI is, is one of the, the big thing which is sort of really helping develop those connections. Mm -hmm. So I think these are some of the areas that we continue to see innovation and, uh, and really advancement in the AI side. Yeah, that's great. So um, talk to me a little bit about where you see um, sort of the, the adoption. I mean, you mentioned some of the, the, the use cases there, but where do you see this in the next like three years, let's say, forecasting out in the future as far as adoption and, and just things that you're... Definitely, yeah. So the one other key thing I see is the, our, uh, the, the speech technology itself. So um, as we speak, the, the language understanding, the speech technology is getting really better. Uh, uh, so, as consumers are speaking to the voice bots and the chat bots, you know you are able to understand, you are able to infer what exactly they're saying, and are able to take actions against those. So, uh, the advancement in the voice technology itself is, is a really uh, great, uh, you know, thing that's happening. the The other factor is around uh, how companies and and our customers and by customers can build these conversational experiences. So there's a lot of innovation in that area where, uh, for example, drag and drop features, you know, you are developing the conversational virtual agent for your customers 
you are quickly able to build and deploy that for your customers. Uh, there's a lot of innovation in the uh, in the understanding uh, of the NLU itself. So, for example, you see there's a you know huge car manual. For example, there's a big you know car manual. So, how we can understand that and really put a con con conversational experience on the top of it, mm -hmm. so that you are not having to go through the manual if you are looking for a specific information, but you are able to just speak to it and get what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. So, really, the natural language understanding, the speech, these are some of the areas that we see continue advancements. And I just wanted to touch on one more thing with you, which is um, just in the in more focused in the retail space. Is there anything else that you want to add as far as maybe use cases really specific to retail? Yeah, th th there are quite a few, uh, definitely. So uh, I think the, uh, the specifically the forecasting is, you know, for, for our customers, forecasting is, you know, one of the key area mm -hmm. where you can really use uh, artificial intelligence and then do the forecasting for whatever you know, product that you know, our customers are selling. So that's one big area. Uh, understanding your customers, uh, the behavior of the customers, uh, their, uh, what exactly they must have you know, purchased from you. So really understanding the behavior, the past journey, and then really uh, forecasting and then you know, really uh, looking into what the future may hold, what kind of you know, services of the product you are able to sell. That's the another big area that we see from a media perspective. That's great. Thank you. And Joe, I just wanted to pull you in from more of the automotive retail perspective. You know, why did, first of all, why did CDK want to get into the AI space? Yeah, well, it's a great question. But when you think about the consumer experience out there in general, I mean, you, you named a couple of really interesting experiences calling your salon and Delta Airlines, that sort of technology. And you know, we're always looking in the collaboration space for innovative technologies to bring to bear, to make that consumer experience a little less, less frictionable and also improve the ROI on the dealer's back end. And what are some of the advantages to dealership staff when, you know, when adopting AI? Like, what are some of the use cases there? Yeah, when we think about a virtual assistant component, um, you know, one of the problems in staffing in a dealership is there's a lot of turnover. So you want your best people focused on your consumers that are in the store at the time of point. So well, uh, something where the AIs can help with that is, uh, is handling those more common tasks up front and freeing up your good people to be on those you know, revenue generating you know, exercises. How are, you, how are you seeing the benefits um, from a consumer perspective at the dealership? Sure, so I, again, your, your, your example is a great one, but as consumers, we're all expecting a richer dialogue uh, when we call in to, 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 to get service from something. Um, and it should be a dialogue. It shouldn't be a menu of things that you have to bust through, right? Or it shouldn't be waiting on hold for a long time to get to the particular person you're trying to talk to. So from a consumer's perspective, um, you're eliminating a lot of time, a lot of frustration from their part. Uh, when you figure one call out of seven into a dealership is a sale of some sort, losing those calls or dropping those calls, that's money on the floor. So when you're decreasing frustration from the consumer side, you're gonna have an ROI to that. And then if you're looking at the dealership, um, is there a particular um, area, focus area department yeah. that um, would benefit the most? From yeah, so being that we're the collaboration folks at CDK, which means we're on the phone systems, it was easy for us to kind of take a look through the data and say, which, which departments have the longest hold times or the lo miss, most amount of drops or missed calls? Service came to the top of that very fast, right? So average hold time for service is anywhere from six to 12 minutes, very long period of time. Um, they get bounced around, right? We'll, we'll see a couple transfers in a service uh, flow, and then we'll see a kind of a high drop percentage because the frustration level is, is very high. So to complete that entire interaction for somebody to generally call a service, uh, service um, department, it's around a 15 minute experience on the phone. Sometimes it can be shorter depending upon how they go and availability and such. When we add AI into that, we answer the call in within the first seconds. And then we, we, we can go all the way through the scheduling component or the modification component all in about a minute and 36 seconds, right? All the while giving the consumer um, lots of options, as you know, to Mitt's point, a very rich dialogue around that consumer, what they're asking for, the services, the services that the dealer can provide. So it's very rich. Now, Amit, um, what's your perspective on how dealers can take advantage of this type of technology? Sure, definitely. I think there are quite a few uh, different areas and I'll try to relate with, with my own personal experience. Uh, one of the areas is, is the really the customer care. As you walk in, in, into the, the dealership, uh, I personally feel that 
uh, the front desk is there really to not only just to greet the customer, but sort of really build a long lasting connection and really help them what they're looking for. And we feel that uh, a lot of time, uh, at least, and you know, I've seen that you know, personally, where front desk is really busy in taking a lot of those different calls and not really sort of paying attention or really spending time with the customer who's actually uh, walking physically into the, into the dealership. So one of the things that we could do through this artificial intelligence that we have, where a lot of these, uh, you know, very uh, sort of a simple, you know, customers who are looking for basic information, we could really take that and offload to the artificial intelligence with virtual bots and, and uh, voice bots and really sort of offload and free up the front desk so that they can really pay attention and really build those connection with the, the, the customer who's walking into the dealership. So I think that's one area. The second is more about really doing some sort of a contextual and the intelligent routing. So as a customer, when I'm I'm calling for service or I'm looking for you know wheels for my car, uh, I should already uh, on the other end I should already know uh, the dealership should already know what is the car that I have bought, uh, what is my name, all of that contextual information should already be there rather than me spending time and giving all of that information. Uh, I think artificial intelligence can really help give that that experience. And then there are a number of other use cases, you know, with respect to, uh, you know, all the deal, uh, all the leads that you are getting, for example, from different sources. How could you use artificial intelligence to really parse through those, cluster those, understand you know, a lot of those behaviors, and maybe run a very specific campaign for those specific group of people mm -hmm. and really impacting your bottom line. Right. So there are different, you know, sort of business cases, use cases that we have where AI could be a really uh, value driver with respect to not only improving your profitability, but also improving the customer uh, care. Great. Yeah, absolutely. So, Joe, how is CDK bringing this technology to the market and to the dealers? Right. I, I want to jump out a little bit of what yeah. I was saying there, too. And then we think about the, the front desk example he just used, like going into a service apartment. Well, 600 calls come into a standard dealership in a day. Around 300 of those go to the service department. About 80% of those calls are making or modifying an appointment and the others are status, right? All of that can be automated with our AI engine. And your comment and your question about how do we bring that to market? Well, today we have a product called Intelligent Connect, which does exactly that. Uh, so as you call in, it will first look at an omni-channel kind of messaging thing to see if you've texted or maybe you've uh, inter inter uh, interfaced with the dealership over social media or you called previously. So REI will know that, will ask if you want to be connected to the person that you were discussing with, whatever it might be. If not, then you can go into the standard um, appointment creation, appointment modification, or status checks, and all that then gets handled by an AI, AI bot very, very fast, right? So we're bringing that to market. Um, and it's, uh, it's an exciting time because I think really, when we think about the applications of AI in this space, and Amit touched on a few of them, we're scratching the surface of what's possible here. We're starting with the service, um, the service group because uh, our data suggests there is the most amount of impact that we could possibly bring in that space. So we're really excited to bring this to market. Yeah, that sounds very exciting, I can't wait. So one last question, Joe. Great to hear that that's being brought to market. Is there, you know, sort of a future future vision um, that you're foreseeing in the next, you know, several years? Yeah, I alluded to this being the first thing that we're that we're that we're integrating into and bringing AI to bear. But there is so much more that we could do with this. Uh, parts integration is another one. Uh, our CRM integration is another one. There's just a tremendous amount that we can bring to bear. So today at this NADA. Look at, come check out the service interaction that we've got next NADA. You'll see a lot more because we, you know, we've, we've partnered with a, a group, Google, which is fantastic so that we can really innovate fast in this space. Um, and so you won't see one more offering next year. You'll see a couple more offerings because it's, it's modern architecture, great partnership with Google, and we're moving fast. That's great. Well, I just wanted to thank you. It was a great dialogue today. So I appreciate you guys taking the time. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me.